AG Squad. Welcome back to my episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool on this model here. And basically what this is, is a short roll projector. And we see it from this brand right here. So you can see the product, I already have it all set up. But let me show you guys what the package looks like when you guys first get it. All right, so right here is basically the package that I just received, which is basically the short roll projector from this brand. So when you guys open up, first thing you can see inside right here is this little cover right here. Once you guys take it out, inside they do probably guys like the user manual and they also probably guys like the set right here in terms of how you guys want to set it up if you guys want 85 inch 100 inch and etc and we see inside the product is all nicely wrapped up and everything but i don't have it right now because i already have it all set up but inside they do probably got this little box as well so if you guys open up inside they probably got the remote control that i don't have right here i actually have it set up on my table which i'll show you guys in a second and right here, they do probably got like a USB to micro USB cable. So this is kind of the idea of what the product looks like when you guys first get in. Now I'm actually show you guys the actual projector and also more control of what it actually looks like. All right. So right here is basically what the projector looks like. You can see it's actually very big. When I actually purchased the product, I was not expecting it to be this big. So I was actually kind of shocked. But when I actually use the projector, it's actually super high quality since it is a 4K quality. It actually has a really strong and high uh, FPS frame per second when you guys do use it. So right here, we see we do have the brand logo. They mentioned it's 4K UHD laser cinema. They probably got some more specs about the product here. It does have Dolby Audio, HDMI option, Texas Instrument DLP. We have a bunch of in here light to show you guys what you are using, like the Bluetooth option, light option, and etc. Right here is the button for you to press to activate it. But you guys also have the remote control to activate as well if you guys want to. And the bottom part is where you plug in the cable to recharge it, which is probably the cable that they provided for you guys earlier. And then for this projector, it does provide you guys the built-in sound bar that's actually super high quality, if you see right here. But here's basically what the product looks like from the front. If you see from the top part right here, this is where the projector is gonna shoot like the image and everything towards the wall. So just to give you guys an idea of what the wall looks like and how far it is, this is the projector. And then right here is the wall. So I'm gonna shoot it right here in broad daylight to show you guys what it actually looks like in a second. But let me show you guys what else is on the side first. So when you guys rotate it on the side, they do have the ventilation fan inside to prevent it from overheating and etc. Right here, we do have a USB option. So that way you can plug in like a USB flash drive. If you guys wanna play like your own videos or something. Right here, we have one of the HDMI options. So if you guys wanna plug in like HDMI cable to your computer or your Fire TV stick or something, you definitely have the option available. Back part right here, we have everything else. Let me actually turn it around to give you guys a better point of view of the product. So right here is another outlet. Right here is the AC outlet that I'm plugged in to activate the product that's provided for you guys. Right here is another USB option that you can use. Here are two more HDMI options, so that way you can plug in more than one at the same time if you guys want to. And then here is some more outlet that you can plug in if you guys want to. But see in the bottom right here, we also have another slot for the ventilation fan to prevent it from overheating. And they also have one on the other side as well. So I'm actually rotate one more time. All right, so here is the other side that I was talking about. So basically throughout the product, they do have a lot of ventilation fan on here to prevent it from overheating. Because when you guys do use the product, it does generate a lot of electricity on here since it is such a high quality projector. And it's throughout the bottom, they do have like, the non slip material and also the legs that's adjustable. So that way it's gonna raise it higher and lower based on your own preference depending on how you guys do set it up and where you guys set it up. So that way when you guys look at the image and everything, it's not tilted. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Let me actually fix back the projector in the correct angle so that way I can show you guys what the image looks like in broad daylight. All right, so right here we do have the projector. Let's turn it on. So I just plugged in the Fire TV stick in the side so that way I can turn on like the Netflix and everything else to show you guys what the product looks like if you guys do use like an HDMI cable slot. So let's turn it on. So even right now, you see the quality is actually pretty high quality. It's actually really clear when you guys see it. And this is broad daylight. So right here in the bottom is basically the projector. And we see when we shoot the projector from that distance, it's shot up to the wall so close. And if you see the quality on here is actually pretty good, especially for broad daylight. But I'm actually pull down the shade to show you guys what the part looks like if it's a little bit darker. All right. So you see the quality when you guys make it a lot darker, it looks so much better. So if you guys notice the quality on here is actually pretty good even when the sun is out. Because when you guys compare it to like other projector, like the one that tested in the past, like the Anchor Nebula capsule of projectors, that one will not be as clear as this one, especially on broad daylight. You guys can't even see anything on here like what you guys can see from the image. So I'm actually turn on one of the videos to show you guys what the product looks like in broad daylight versus in darkness. So I'm probably gonna play one of my own videos. So this is what it actually sounds like on volume level 20 and this is what the product looks like in broad daylight. Now let's pull down the shade to show you guys what it actually looks like when it's darker. 
And if you give you guys a rubber band to hold the lid together, the actual pan in the bottom. But let's check out all the wrappers and everything first. So you can see the image quality on here is actually super high quality and if you guys notice like the frames per second on here is actually really high quality as well. Like even right now it's not like super dark but there's still some light out and if you can see the image quality on here is actually really really good. And also the audio on here sounds really good as well if you guys notice. Let me skip a little bit to the front of the video where I do like the cooking part to show you guys what she looks like. So I'll play right here. Material will scratch the surface of the coating. Alright so let's put a little bit of oil on here. Alright, last is good. Let's turn down the fire a little bit. And let's crack our tape on top. Alright, let's try to move it around. So you can see everything on here definitely works pretty well. And one last thing that I do want to mention is the actual projector. You do have the option to move it forward and backward. So that way you can make it bigger or smaller. If I do move the projector forward or backward, let me show you guys what happened. So I'm gonna move it forward first. So that is the furthest it can go. And if you guys bring it all the way back, it can go pretty far. So let's see how far it can go if you guys do bring it really far back. So you can definitely play around with the angle and everything when you guys do get it. But I do have it set up like this, which is like a perfect setup. And also another thing that's actually really cool about these short roll projectors is the fact that since it's shooting from the bottom right here towards the wall, every time you guys walk by, you won't have to worry about seeing a like shadow when you guys walk by because right here in the front, which is actually pretty cool. So that's another benefit of using short roll projectors compared to your normal projector where you guys have to put it from far away. But that is basically a quick little test to show you guys how the product works. It basically actually looks pretty cool and actually works pretty well. But now to come boxing and test the product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this projector, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want or need one of these. Especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality projector that give you guys everything that's on here in terms of short scroll option, the high quality audio, the high quality video image, and so much more. Then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.